Hey, you know, we can start out with Isaiah 58. Hey, Shalom. We're the true Hebrew Israelites. All right, coming out week in and week out. Prophesied the downfall of America, known as Babylon the Great. Prophesied the downfall of Esau, Edom, the so called white man. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, the true teachers of Israel. Uh, Shalom, peace, love, and blessings to the uh, uh, hopeful elect out there. Uh, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity, man. Uh, uh, best to retreat. And, uh, uh, you know, follow after righteousness. You know, because that's what we're out here to do is to teach uh, uh, these nations, uh, specifically, most importantly, the Israelites, which are your so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, according to the Bible. All right, who you are, okay, why you're in America, why the so called white man's ruling the world right now and what you're supposed to do in these last days because we're in the last days right now. Oh yeah, go ahead. Huh? This is Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cries without. God. She utters her voice in the streets. Yeah, wisdom cries without. All right, she utters her voice in the streets. And the reason why we're on the streets is because people can pass by, anybody can drive by, see us. You know, we're not in a very heavily populated area, but that's, you know, all through the spirit and power of the Alba Shana our side that we're out here like this. You know, but you got brothers all over the world, man. You got brothers in San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York. You know, all types of brothers out there in New York. And they, you know, they got uh, 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 plenty of people that roll by and see them. And, and uh, uh, the apostles and elders been out for years doing this, man. You know, and so this thing's gone out to the internet, all right? All kinds of all, all kinds of people have heard this word, man. It's gone. You got brothers waking up all over the world. You got great millstone in Finland, you know, Germany, Holland, all kinds of different places, man. And what are they doing? They're crying wisdom out, they're pouring wisdom out the streets of the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh because the Lord, the Lord put it in our mouth, all right, in our heart to come out here and to speak this word, man. All right, to get ourselves right, to repent and, 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 and get ourselves right and come out here and uh, uh, teach the truth, man. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Yeah, because America's built upon simplicity. America's built upon, uh, uh, you know that scripture is folly is sick, great thing? the show were known as the Chaldeans, which the Chaldeans today are the uh, so-called illuminated ones, all right, the Luciferians, the Illuminati, that's why they're called the Illuminati, you have different sects of the Illuminati, you have different families, bloodlines, you got Freemasons, uh, you know, and, and uh, Skull and Bones, and all these different secret societies, these secret Edomite societies, and they're built upon witchcraft. All right, which goes back to the uh, Chaldeans. See, everything, everything uh, that's going on today, it was also going back then. Back then, real quick, hold that and get uh, the same same book get Ecclesiastes one and nine. Is Ecclesiastes one and nine? The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. See, history repeats itself, man. That's why Israel uh, went into slavery so many times, man. All right, because history repeats itself. All right, go ahead. And that which is done is that which shall be done. 
and there was no new thing under the sun. And that's why these scriptures are still relevant to this day, because there's no new thing under the sun. So the same, you had the Chaldeans back then, you had the Babylonians back then, uh, you have the Babylonians and the Chaldeans now today. And you have uh, the, the Egyptians, Sodom and Gomorrah, those same spirits, they're still here on this earth. In fact, they're way more prevalent now because in this time, there's over fucking like 9 million people in the world, man. So the Lord has all types of spirits on the earth right now, and the majority of the spirits that's on the earth are Israelites, man. That's why you got Israelites scattered among all the nations. You know, you, that's why you see, uh, that's why you see certain uh, uh, Israelites look like so-called white people, so-called uh, uh, different nations, and they're preaching. See, without that's all through the spirit, all right? Because you know, you might have an Edomite walk by, and you and you tell him about the scriptures, and he gets all bent out of shape. But then you got another so-called white man that hears the scriptures, and it and it like it calls to him, man. Like the, the scriptures have the opposite effect of that. It, like he, like he, he's like, man, that's that's gotta be the truth, man. This, hey, man, so-called black Spanish, those are the Israelites. And then it goes further. The Lord draws you in, and if the Lord draws you in, you got you're an Israelite, man. You have to, you know. That's how the Lord, because everything is spiritual. That's how the Lord is gathering the elect, man, from the four corners of the earth. All right. Now, uh, real quick, go to uh, chapter three. Can't get the picture. So. This is Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity yep. and the water of affliction. What's the bread of adversity and the water of affliction? You're in Babylon, man. All right, you're in slavery. You're in hell. You wake up to the fact that you're in slavery. You wake up to, to the fact that the Edomites are ruling the world in wickedness, that they got everything set up on the front witchcraft, that you're, they're poisoning the air, they're destroying the earth. And you can see, you've seen that before you came into the truth, but then you came into the truth and, you, and then you're just like, damn, everything's all, everything's all fucked up. And, it, and it's this devil's own purpose, man. Like he's doing it on purpose, man. And so that's why we come out here and we're, we, we condemn the so-called white man, which really he's not white, he's red. That's why we say so-called white man, all right? Because really he's red. And uh, he's from the nation of Edom, which means red, man. All right, see, everything's spiritual, go ahead. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. That's why you can go on YouTube or you can go uh, uh, to the streets and you can see uh, the apostles, the elders, you can see different camps, different brothers teaching the truth, man, because right now the Lord has it, still has it, to where uh, uh, we're able to come out here, man. You know, the Lord still has it to where we're able to come out here and do this work. It says, and thy ears shall hear. So you can hear the truth, you're like, man, that's, that's the truth, man. And you think then you got no choice. Alright, because the Lord makes if you're part of the elect, the Lord's gonna make you do this thing. Alright? The Lord, hey, hey, if you uh, uh you know uh, in, uh committing wickedness, the Lord's gonna make you uh, uh put off that wickedness, man. The Lord's gonna make you clean up your act, man. Are right, you gonna have no choice? Yep. This is the way, walking in it. When you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left, ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver, and the ornament of thy molten images of gold. Yeah, you ain't gonna go into no brother's house and see no damn Buddha, see no, uh, uh, you know, Jesus Christ or whatever, all right? Maybe if a brother lives with his parents or whatever, they might have, but that brother ain't worshiping or bowing down to no idols, man. Right? You know, because we know that it's, we know that they're idols, right? and we know uh, uh, what the true image of the Lord actually is, man. And we know what the truth is. All right, go ahead. It says, "Thou shalt cast them away as a menstruous cloth." Yeah. So Thou shalt say, it. "Go ahead." Thou shalt say unto it, "Get the hands." Yep, get the hands. We don't want nothing to do with that, man. All right. And then the longer that you're in the truth, the more, the more things that you put away, the more things that you cast off. Now I don't want to, I don't give a shit about this. I don't give a shit about that. And you know, I don't want to deal with this anymore. You know, because your mind, your mind, 
starts to get converted, all right, through the spirit, man. All right, is there more? Go uh, uh, Is Ecclesiastes 3 and 15, that which hath been is now, and that which... See, that's heavy right there. That which has been is now. That's how we know this is Babylon. Alright, that's how we know this is Egypt. That's how we know Esau Edom is ruling the world right now, man. Alright, because when you go back, um, when you read in the history, um, when Solomon went off, the Lord uh, stirred up an enemy in Syria and in Edom against Israel, man, because Solomon went off, and and that took and it took effect after Solomon had passed away, and that was when uh, uh, Esau revolted out from under the uh, out from under the hand of uh, Israel and made a king over himself, and so you had that same thing happen uh, uh, during the time of the Greeks. And also during the time when uh, the Renaissance era took place, all right, Esau lifted up himself against the nation of Israel, man, all right, because it's all about Jacob, Jacob, uh, uh, Jacob and Esau. You know, if Israel ain't ruling the world, Jacob, uh, Esau ruling the world in wickedness, man. All right? And that's how, that's how, that's how it went back and forth, man. All right. Uh, go ahead, keep going. And that which is to be hath already been, and the Most High requireth that which is past. Yeah, because if you go back to the Garden of Eden, who was in rulership in the Garden of Eden? All right, during the time of King David and Solomon, who was ruling the whole earth during that time of period? All right, so just like those things happen, the Kingdom of Heaven is going to be set up, and Israel is going to be ruled in power again. Except this time it's going to be for eternity. Now. It's, a, it's going to be a perpetual rulership, and all these other nations are going to be slaves. All these other nations. If you're of a, uh, if you're of a, a, a another of a nation outside of the nation of Israel, all right, you're going to be a slave in the kingdom of heaven when the Lord returns to, to smite the earth. Uh -huh. This is Lamentations, chapter four and twenty-two. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Yeah, because that's why you see the tribes being gathered up in the spirit. All right, because the punishment, now we're still under certain curses, all right, but the, the curse of um, being separated from Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, all right, the curse of not knowing who we are, the curse of, of hating your brother, all right, those curses have been lifted off, off, of, off the brothers and the truth, man, all right, you're still in slavery, certain things, subject to payments, but the, all the curses are going to be done away with soon. All right, but now you see the curse, uh, the curse is being put on these other nations. That's why you see these heathens walking around all pissed off. All right, they see Jake uh, uh, rallying up and going crazy. They're all pissed off about it. All these damn uh, uh, left-wing extremist mobs, you know. And really, they're really they're just hiding their hatred for Jake with terms like left-wing and stuff like that, you know. But you see that. Um, Certain curses are being lifted. You see uh, uh, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans coming together, tearing down statues, and rioting, and, and, and stuff, marching and protesting. All right, because Esau's been exposed. All right, everybody's tired of this devil and, and all the wickedness that he's been doing. Man. Yeah, the elder Ken was talking about it uh, at their uh, camp about how uh, there was a bigger slave rebellion. which are the Seminole Indians, that was bigger than Nat Turner's slave rebellion. And they had a whole big slave rebellion where they, they tipped off and they ran into Mexico. And when they ran into Mexico, the tribes, that when they when Esau came in there, Issachar and, and those, uh, those uh, Reubenites, Judites, Gadites, and other, other tribes, they were whooping Esau's ass, man. You know? So Jake is going to naturally get back together, but this has been a this is this this is how it was created to be. Twelve tribes, so it's going to come back to them. You know what I mean? That's how you know that our iniquity is, is accomplished because you got the brothers and the truth from all the tribes in camps. 
Okay? The Lord said, as his word is going to gather his elect from the four corners of the earth, and then shall the end come when this word is published throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay, that's why Esau knows that he has but a short time. That's why he's doing all the madness he's doing right now. That's why he said he, he, he unleashed a, a, a plague in the world, like the only one likes. Start the, the slaughtering, the uh, the uh, the uh, demonization of the Israelites, and ultimately uh, pass bills and and, and plot, plot to exterminate these people. Okay, that's the end goal: is to get everybody microchip and possibly eliminate the children of Israel. Okay, because Esau knows that if he were to eliminate the children of Israel, he would get his birthright back. There's certain deals that the most I made with Esau. Like if like if Esau could stop the moon from shining, if he could if he could explore the waters, the Lord said that he was away. But these things are impossible. Okay? But the devil he's proud, he's gonna try. He's gonna do what he can. Why? Because the most I gave him wisdom and also gave him the mind to be proud. So he rebellious. That's why um that's why Esau has his media rallying up the Jakes, man. All right, wanting to get uh, uh, the, the Democrats and the Republicans to fight with each other because it says in the scriptures that the Egyptians shall be against the Egyptian. That's why they set up this democracy in the first place, is to pit uh, uh, you Americans against each other, man, so that you can fight with one another because it's called Ordo Ab Chao. All right, so you know you're gonna have all these all these people uh, uh, causing havoc in this in the streets. All right, Esau's gonna say, oh, we, well, we gotta bring order back, you know? And so what's gonna happen? You know, they're gonna declare martial law and they're gonna deem all you people that's out here marching and protesting, whether it's peaceful or whether you, you know, uh, uh, whether you breaking windows and shit, they're gonna deem you domestic terrorists, man. And then the rest of you that aren't, aren't you know, making any noise, they're gonna come to you with, uh, with a microchip, man. All right? They're gonna herd up, herd up a bunch of people that's in the streets, slaughter a lot of them, kill a lot of them. All right, and the ones that surrender, they're gonna tell them, all right, you, well, you have to get this microchip. And that's that's exactly what's happening, man. You gotta get a vaccination, you gotta get a microchip. You know, that's exactly what's getting ready to happen. Go ahead. There's Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And how they cause the, the image of the beast, the beast to speak, and cause as many that would not worship it that they should be killed? Through martial law, man. All right, through all this legislation that they're passing. And a lot of this stuff that they pass is in the case of an emergency or a disaster. All right, all right, you know, they lose control uh, uh, of the people or whatever, like a disaster, natural disaster, like uh, FEMA. Basically, the reins are handed over to FEMA and all these uh, draconian measures, these, this different legislation that they pass is gonna come into effect and you're not gonna have any rights. That's when they're gonna go around all right, killing people, taking their guns from them. Right, because they don't want a rebellion. That's why the, that's why the, the whole left-wing democratic thing, they want to take your guns away. They don't want no Second Amendment right now. Okay. Hey, what's going on? How you guys doing? Uh, bless you. say hi. You wanted to come awesome. say hi? Yeah. Oh, you guys, Shalom. Oh, you guys know about the Hebrew Israelites? Yeah. Okay. A little bit. A little bit? So you, he has part Jewish blood in me. Okay. So you know who the true, the actual Israelites are? Yeah, the true ones that are, that are these so-called black Hispanic Native Americans. Because when you go into the Bible... You Sephardic? No. No, it's not Sephardic. Go into uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. The reason why the so-called black Hispanic Native Americans went into slavery is because they're the actual Jews. It's because they're the actual Israelites. Because when you read in the history of the Bible, the Lord said that if you don't follow my ways and my commandments, if you go after these other nations, these heathens, right. we're gonna, I'm gonna put you in slavery. I'm gonna have these heathens rule over you and kill you. Northern tribes? Yeah. 
lives. That's here in America. That's like this brother, this brother, yeah. Hispanics, Native Americans. Okay, those are the ten tribes. Those are the tribes that Christopher Columbus came from. Right? Because he knew in Second Ezra that it tells you that they went from the Assyrian captivity and they went to a land that had never been dwelt in. See, but the Hamites, the Africans, the real Africans, they were the people who were Like that. That's why you have the almanacs and different statues that come here. Alright? But the reason why there's pyramids here in North and South America, the reason why there's like the Lost Luna Stone, which had Hebrew writing, things like that, because those are the real ones. Okay? The ones that's in the land of Israel, those are the ones that are Edomites. You're an Edomite, you're an Edomite. Alright? According to the Bible. You're 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 the twin brother of Jacob. Okay? You're a sibling. And it tells you in the scriptures that he that leadeth in the captivity shall go in the captivity. So because you let these people into captivity, so when the Lord comes, he's going to put you into slavery. Get Psalm 149. Uh, read the Deuteronomy 28 and start at the 15th verse. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. All these curses shall come upon thee. That's why chattel slavery happened here. That's why they went over there, brought them back over here, beat the hell out. And then you had the Jim Crow era when they were lynching and burning them, right? And there's still been a perpetual hatred to this day. That's why they're getting shot in the streets. That's why you see an uproar happening right now because the Lord's discovering all the wickedness of America. Okay. Yeah, because your people, the Edomites, are known as the devil in the Bible, all right? The wicked, the dragon, the deceiver. You're an Edomite. You're an Edomite. We know that. We know it in the spirit. You are. You're an Edomite. You're an Edomite. You are. You're an Edomite. You're, you guys are Edomites. You're going into slavery. I'm telling you. America's going to be destroyed by nuclear missiles, according to biblical prophecy, World War III, and y'all are going into slavery. And overtake thee. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land. See, all these things happen to the, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, cursed in every damn thing, man. All right, had a, a yoke of chain around their necks, uh, had to serve hardcore slavery, all in the name of what? Christianity and the Edom, Ed Edomite. A so-called Edomite religion now. Alright, because what they came with that image of the so-called white man to put you Jakes into slavery and have you worship him. Alright? To take away your heritage from you. Alright, see these Edomites cut you see them shaking. You see them shaking, man. Go ahead. This is Luke 21 and 14. Settle it therefore in your hearts, not to meditate before what you shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay or resist. God, they, that's why they had, hey, when the, hey, what does it say? The, uh, the wicked fleet when no man pursue it. But, you know, because if they were Israelites, the, the spirit would have would have been, would have dealt with them. Yeah? Like, oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. All those people, shame on them. No, but instead they knew. They knew. That you, was could see, you could see that they knew. They said they were Jewish. Yep. And those were the main ones that were uh, uh, having Jake in slavery, man. Bro, I, right when they said it, I pulled it up. And um, I put in, uh, who built slave ships? Okay, well, what I, what I should have put was slave ship uh, uh, owner names. You actually had a slave ship called uh, the Good Ship Jesus. Look at Jewish slave ship owners. Owners of the era. Abigail, Aaron Lopez, Moses, Moses Levy. Yep, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's Amalek. That's, that's Amalek. Jacob Franks, look at this one. Nathan Simpson, Levy, Isaac Levy, Moses Levy, Levy. Uh, what's another one? Uh, Sam, Moses and Sam Levy. Abram Lyell. Those, those are all Amalekite so-called Jewish pastors. Okay. You know, Amalek, the, the 
rats in Israel. They built, they funded those slave ships to be built. And who built them were the, were the Arabs, man. Okay? The Arabs built the slave ships. In uh, Revelation 13. For Esau and Edom. That's why when you read Psalms 83, it said thy enemies make you tumble against thee. Yep. Get that okay. off the side. That I'll our enemies, yeah, God, we'll shut up. that our enemies rose up, okay, to blot us out as a nation, man. And they did a damn good job. Because look at our people, the way they are out here, man. We went to go swoop the brother up, and uh, Jake was out there bummed out. Look at just the whole energy of him was demonic. Yep. Why? Because Esau and these other nations, they did away with our identity. They took it upon themselves. You witnessed that you sent two rats up here saying that they were Jewish. Which, they're Jewish, we'll give them credit for that because the suffix ish means to pertain unto something. Just like somebody acts childish. Okay, they're not a child, but they're acting like a child. That's why he had a beard on his face. Yeah, that's why he had a But you look at you look at a lot of these so-called Jews. They don't even have here. No, they don't keep them. They don't. They don't even read. The, they don't even read the scriptures because they know that it condemns. Yeah. You know, they know about their history. Man. You know how they got up in there. And plus, when you read the scriptures, it tells you that when Israel go, goes back into the land, that they're going to be gathered by the by by Yahweh's side and the angels and be put in that land, and that these other nations are going to be subject to them. You don't see that happening. He saw Amalek got to fucking creep around, go behind everybody's back, do all kinds of sneaky shit. You know, he can't. He ain't just outright got his foot on everybody's neck. Yeah, the Lord didn't bring them. They took their own red asses to the land after World War II, like the Balfour Declaration. They actually purchased it. What coming up with that bullshit Balfour Declaration? You can look it up on Wikipedia, man. And it said that this land is now owned and purchased by, uh, I believe it was the Rothschilds, man. Okay. The, Roth, the Rothschilds, you, you can't even, they, they, it don't even tell you how much they, they're worth, man. Because they got old money, man. They got, gen, that shit generational, man. They got money from, uh, from ancient civilization, man. They stole the money from these people. What do you think the Spanish conquest was about? Okay, it was about taking these people, putting them in slavery, and, and gathering all the gold from, from the planet, man. Okay, all the riches. All right. This is uh, Psalms 83 and uh, 1. Keep not thou silence, O power, hold not thy peace. And be not still, O oh, Yahweh, by some Yahweh's side. And the Lord isn't doing that anymore because we put it on an elephant. You know, our, your teacher shall not be in a place in a corner anymore, man. So the Lord is speaking out right now, man, by way of his prophets. Okay. Yeah. It says, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Yes, yeah, see, all this was done crafty counsel okay when you when you look at uh when esau came out came out uh came into power in europe that was all crafty counsel man they they went in they assassinated high leaders they assassinated people within the uh the the, the uh, catholic church it was all wicked but they took out high officials through a secret council set themselves up started passing bills and funding voyages to come home Oppressing these people, man. Okay, they they all got a hand in our oppression. You got Arabs; they own all these liquor stores, selling you fucking, fucking that gut rot, nasty ass liquor, man. The cheapest shit Jake could buy, get his hands on. Next, you know Jake, fucking drunk as fuck, killing people. You know he goes up, beats his wife up. Okay, all these curses, man.
Then you got who? The Chinese, the Koreans, Vietnamese. They go to these beauty salons to capture the women of our people. Okay, and then Esau. Different types of Edomites, man. With different types of secret uh, councils, things that they plot against us. Amalek, look at Amalek. They publish the media. They teach Jake how to be. They got BT. What is BT? Black entertainment. They teach all people to be black. To be a damn demon, man. Okay, when you look at the word, the etymology for the word black, it means uh, it means to be uh, wicked. It means to be uh, fierce, violent. And that's the that image that they want our people to embrace, man. That covering. The scriptures say our people take a covering that is not the most high. That's that black shit. That's that Mexican shit. That's why it says in the scriptures that we would... Uh, uh we would tear down the covering castle for all these nations. You know, now, now, now all these, now Esau first and foremost, all these other nations are exposed with him for all the shit that you did, all right? For all the wickedness that you did to the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. All right? Yeah, Esau's bitch ass is the ultimate covering castle, man. They go, man. Yeah. Esau, Esau is the ultimate covering castle, why? Because he not telling the brothers that he bites. And then he and then he's pushing this veil on, on all these nations, man. You know. Yep. Yep. T taking down the covering castle over, over all nations, and, and, and you saw it being made totally bare. And I was watching uh, Trump President President Donald J. Trump had a, a, a rally. I think it was in like Oklahoma or something. And I was watching it. You know, it was on the news. It's like, the, bro, it's like a scene from that movie, Idiocracy. It's a fucking joke. All the crowd is like, boo, yeah. He would say dumb shit, he's cracking jokes. He's talking shit about the opposite, the Democrats, the Joe Biden, when he ain't confusing his mom with his sister. He actually said that shit, man. It's like, they're like little kids, man. But this is, this, these are, these are the American leaders, man. These are your fucking so-called leaders, man. Over here, uh, over here with the uh, child, child school, schoolhouse banter, and you got the, all these Edomites all hyped up. Boom. It looks like a scene from that movie Idiocracy, man. It's all a big fucking joke. This country is destroyed, man. All right, and right now all they're doing is keeping you people entertained while they're getting ready to, uh, they're getting ready to uh, uh, declare martial law, which would put your ass into slavery. Job chapter 30 verse 1. But now they that are younger than I. Yep, younger than I. Have the hey, what's that scripture? Um, what was that? Isaiah the third chapter? Give me a before you get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, give me Isaiah the third chapter. Before you get that book shot. Yeah. There's Isaiah 3 and 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. As for my people, children are their oppressors. You just look at Donald Trump, he's a big fucking baby, man. You look at Joe Biden, he's a big little kid, man. All right? You, they, that's how these Edomites are. They're like big little kids. All right? Like big babies, man. Go ahead. And women rule over them. That's why when you tell them the truth, they get offended, they get all swimming, all retarded about it. Or they try and play it off and act stupid. Because they're fucking kids, man. Go ahead. Oh, my people. Read it again, Bob. There's Isaiah 3 and 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. And women rule over them. And, and women rule over them. That's a huge problem with the world, is that women have so much damn power on this planet. Man. Right? And women are like little fucking kids, too, man. All they care about is how they feel. How they feel. That's why it says the ways of a woman are as death, man. That's why they just walk around uh, doing whatever the hell they want to do with ripped up jeans, with their ass hanging out, all right, partying and drinking. All they want to, all they want to do is comfort themselves. Selfish. Yep, they're selfish. And then Esau gave them that power so that they could do it. So you can't tell them nothing. Otherwise, otherwise you you'll be condemned for it, man. And Esau's a fucking cuck. Yep. Because he. He wants to be a woman, man. 
get to you the last one. Can I go ahead? I mean, yeah. this is Job 30 and 1. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision. Yeah, children are, are our oppressors, man. Go ahead. Whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Yeah, because what are Edomites known for? All types of folly, man. All types of uh, uh, wickedness and, and, and folly, man. All right? You leave a you leave an Edomite to his own devices, and it's gonna be looking like jackass soon, man. Where they're where they're launching dildos up at them, at them, at them throwing rocks at each other's nuts, like all, all manner of all manner of stupidity, man. You we don't want to set him with the dogs of his flock, cause who he, who knows what the fuck he's gonna do with his dog, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. In the world, there was a sight, nothing toxic, brutal, and it showed you. These Edomite women, they're sick, man. These Edomites in general. But the woman, the woman is she's she's a wicked thing, a wicked creation. And her being the Edomite, she's she's triple wicked. Yeah. They, they would be on there abusing animals with themselves, man. And the scriptures tell you, if any person lied with the beast, that beast and that person is supposed to get put down, put to death. You know? This is Psalm 58, verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. That's Esau, man. As soon as these, these little Edomite babies are born, they're demons. They out of their parents. They steal shit. They just, they're just wicked. Man. Their mind is not upright. They don't have a righteous spirit. With them. So the things they do is contrary. To what's right? What's, what, they're, what's they're, right? They're, they're taught. They're taught from birth to look down on Satan. They're taught from when they're a little kid that they're better than Satan. Oh yeah. That they're that they're that they're righteous. That they're white. All right. Oh, you don't don't be like them. You're gonna go to college. You're gonna get a good job. And all this other stuff. Oh, you bring home a, a you know a Jake to play with for playtime, and their parents their parents flip out. Don't ever bring that little. Fucker around here again. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Esau oppressed our people so bad to where he he divided and conquered us. You know, I remember growing up where uh, my mother she was married and um, her husband told her daughter, told his daughter, I don't ever want to see you see you bring a, a black man to this house. You know why is that? Because the whole world was taught to Israelites, primarily the tribe of Judah, man. You know, even amongst each other. Yep. You know, but those curses are being lifted off. Okay, the time of our captivity is ending, man. Because now you got these protests where you got Judah and his car together. So-called Negroes and Mexicans together. Okay, so-called Negroes and Puerto Ricans together. So-called Negroes and Native Americans together. speak they don't even gotta you don't even have to enter into them they just know what they can judge that a prophet had been before them and the Lord's gonna bring it that's why the Lord has us out here uh with the sign dressed the way that we are you know with Bibles speaking the word speaking the word that we speak it's, it's all it's all a controversy man because the Lord is all about division and controversy okay and that's what that's what he's bringing. That's what he's brought. And that's what he's bringing to the world. That's why America's divided amongst us, amongst themselves, right? That's why you have all these uproars of the people. That's why uh, uh, the world is divided among uh, uh, among themselves. That's why you got China, Russia, Iran, and they're in that adverse with the beast, all right? Because that tells you in the scriptures that the Lord gave Esau a powerful sword and that they should kill one another. Man. And if a house be divided against itself, then that, that house cannot stand. So if Satan be divided against himself, the house shall his house, the house shall stand. All right. And, 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 and Satan just means adversary, man. So you eat him, my son. You're Satan. You're Satan.
Alright, go back, oh, go back to, uh, Joe 30. This is Joe! This is Joe, chapter 30, and verse, starting winning it. Yeah, go ahead, Verse 1, but now they that are younger than I have me in derision. Whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Yeah, they have us in derision. That's why Jacob's all messed up out here, man. All right, like I said, America was founded upon witchcraft. That's what the media is. All right, that's what all these signs and these symbols out here are. Okay, uh, uh, you know, Starbucks has the Queen of Heaven over it. McDonald's got these uh, these two arcs. I'm sure it represents some type, some type of witchcraft. All right. Got the word for derision. Hey, even uh, Democrat, the Democrats and the Republicans, the red versus the blue thing, Crips and the Bloods, that's witchcraft, man. Go ahead. Yeah, the word for derision is shakak, and it means to laugh, play, mock, to laugh and contempt derision, to sport, play, to make sport, to jest. Hey, that's why that's why he has you, your your uh, prominent figures dress up in, in dresses and wear women's clothing and do all types of weird shit, man, so that they can laugh and mock at you. And then when it's a trend, like who do you think started the whole sagging thing? Jake didn't start that, man. That was Amalek. That was Esau and Edom that started the whole sagging thing. That's why you shouldn't be walking around with your pants behind uh, uh, below your ass because Esau's laughing at you because that, that's a derision. That's a reproach. That's a curse, man. Yep. Definition of B3. To play, including instrumental music, singing, dancing. They make a song out of you, man. You are... I, oh, they turn your ass into the song. Yep, they turn you into the song. You are their song. You know, you got, you got all kinds of... Uh, look at 6 9 Look at that nigga, man. He is a fucking song in the world. He, he, now he's teaching it's okay uh, to do weird things like that. Which the world has, you know, the world, world have, have their own codes. Like now he's teaching it's okay to snitch on people. Which, according to the law, if our people went off, we were to bring them to our home and kill them. You know? But this world definition of snitching is delivering you unto Esau. Yeah, but see, we have a we have a code too. There's a order. You know, there's there there's certain uh, uh, within the but we, it ain't like we just go out and shout it out to the world. Oh, this guy did this, you know? Or we ain't going to Esau like bringing uh, oh, calling the cops on. Oh, this guy did no, man. You know, if they did something that bad, you just get them away from you. Bid you good day. You know, keep pushing the word. You know, repent. You know, and, and keep doing the work. Lord willing, uh, uh, you know, you repent and be saved. Man. You know, part you can still be part of the liquor. Other than that, you know, if you see a brother go off, you go, it's between you and that brother. You ain't going about telling all, all, all the whole camp, oh, I saw this. You know, so there's there's a there's a code, there's an order when it comes to, to snitching in, in, in this thing, man. So-called, I should say so-called snitching. The other things, okay, like the rainbow, the rainbow died here, the fucking, folks, eyes and shit, where's the scriptures tell you, you're not supposed to put on that bed for taking it to a woman. You got a lot of these rappers, these musicians, wearing tight ass pants. You got these niggas wearing dresses. All kinds of shit. <laughs> Dying their hair blonde. Skinny jeans. Painting their fingernails. Skinny jeans. Yeah, yeah. Rip, yeah. Ripped up skinny jeans. Remember, that was a big, that was a, I think it still is a big thing. It still is. You know, you, you'll see Jake wearing their sister's pants. Super skinny ass jeans. And then and it's a straight up thug, man. It's, it's, supposed, it's supposed to be a, 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 man, a man's man. Well, you got that dude that rapper, dude. Yeah. And he's gay. And that dude, he's a straight homo. <laughs> that dude's a flame bag, you know? But that's a song, there was that song he said, oh, oh, she can't even get me hard. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's because you, that's because you fucking, you like men, bro. Let's be real. <laughs> you went rapping in that girly ass voice. <laughs> Sound like a woman, dress like a woman, and they they use figures like that. They'll take an actual gay ass jig man and put him up and make him make you think that this is a man's man, so that 
hard, real, real manly men will start dressing like this fucking guy, man. And it's and guess what? That's 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 that song that you are to Esau because you think Esau's rocking out to six nine? You think Amalek's fucking bumping six nine? Nah, man, he's laughing at six nine. He's like, look at what I got. This, look, look, look what I got these guys doing. That's why the Lord has us out here at Isaiah 51, 58 and 1. Cry aloud and spare not, man. Your whole fucking culture was is designed by the Esau, man. So really you love Esau, you say that you hate Esau or whatever. Really you love Esau, man. Because you, you're clinging, you're clinging to him. Oh yeah, John 844, the Lord said you don't understand this. We're not here. And that's the majority of our people. They can't comprehend what we're talking about. They'll laugh at what we're saying, not knowing that this is the truth. This is their identity, and they'll do that because they're not—they're not of—they're not, of, not the Israel of Yahweh by Shem Yeah, because they're of—they're of the world, and this world belongs to Esau. Yeah, the power of this world is Satan. So this—they belong to Satan, man. The spiritual demon Satan, and his physical counterpart, man, is his, his main fucking puppet, Esau. Either. This was in the devil's pond. The beast man. The devil's pond. Oh, go ahead and get that. There's Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice yes. like a trumpet. Spare, spare not, man. And we, we don't spare. That's why when these Edomites came up, what did we do? We told them that they're Edomites. We told them they're judges. America's gonna be destroyed, man. Hey, I was I was gonna get Isaiah 14 and 21 until they they, but they had the gap they had the gap abroad. Go ahead and shew my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Yep, yeah, and that's why you know if you uh, uh, if you're a homosexual and you inquire, we're gonna tell you that that's a sin, man. We're not gonna tell you, oh, it's okay, it's gonna be all right, man. You go ahead, be what you gotta be, man. You know. Uh, everybody, everybody's got their own path. Yeah, yeah. No, man, you, you, you're killing yourself, man. That's why we, that's why we, you know. And you, hey, man, in the in the ancient world, if you were a homosexual, they killed you. Straight up and down, they killed you. And when the Lord comes back, if you're a homosexual, man, He's gonna kill you, man. Yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah 48 and 10. Cursed be he that doeth the work of Yahweh deceitfully, and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. Yeah, you, you're, you're worried about everybody's feelings, man. We have emotions too, man. But when it comes to the scriptures, you can't be emotional, man. You can't, oh, if somebody starts crying, oh, but I was, I was born this way, I was molested, this, that, and the third. Hey, man. This, hey, this isn't my word, man. This isn't, hey, like the elder Malcolm. I said, this isn't the book of Malcolm, man. This ain't the words of Malcolm. You know, this ain't the words of a warrior, man. This is the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. We got to speak it plainly. Plainly. We tell you the RFID 